I think it's quite sad. I mean, it was hitting 100 years, I think, this year or something like that. I mean, it was a major anniversary. It's sad that it had to end quite like this, I think. Well, I think it's a shame. Everybody in Reading thinks it's a shame that it's closing. Yes. It'll be interesting to see what replaces it. <laughs> but I guess so, yeah. I mean, it's been there as long as I can remember. A bit gutted. So you used to get all the kids' toys in there. It was a good shop. Not anymore. <laughs> it's all gone. It's somewhere I pop in from time to time. I don't go there perhaps as much as I'd hit maybe a clothes store <laughs> or a shoe shop, but I definitely use Woolworths a lot. I remember Woolworths when I was a little kid, yeah. Because my sister worked at, my sister worked at, worked in there a long, long time ago. Yeah, the old canty was there a long time ago. The canteen's gone. It's not the same all the staff is going. I went in a couple of times over Christmas. It was manic, absolutely crazy. I got good bargains for Christmas though. Everything was cheap. I brought some toys for the children before Christmas. That was quite good. Bargain. Yeah. No, I think the fact that I don't shop there very often is more to do with what I'm looking for as a consumer. And uh, if I wanted the kind of products that came out of Woolworths, I think I'd be in there more often. But a lot of it's aimed at a lot of younger audience than I am. It's just the rubbish stuff that's left. I've just been in there, nothing. Books with bits missing everything. There's really just a little corner of stuff left now. <laughs> the stuff that no one really wants. The worst CDs, Elton John books, thousands of Elton John books. <laughs> it's a shame it's going. I'm going to miss it. Hopefully they open up another shop, big chain like that. It's a shame to see it go.